on to another medical topic that I know has affected you throughout your life. You were diagnosed at the age of 31 with dyslexia. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes. When I was 31, I realized I wasn't stupid. I wasn't lazy. I wasn't, you know, not trying to live up to my potential. I had something with a name. You still get scripts and struggle sometimes? I with... struggle not only sometimes, I struggle all the time. Yeah, there is. There's really no cure for it. It's something you just have to deal with and, right. and learn how to control it. And one of the problems, it's different for, every, for everybody. You know, most people think, you know, if you have dyslexia, you're simply flopping letters around right. or mixing up the, the order. But most people, it's actually something different. It shows itself differently mm -hmm. in every child. Let's show some folks at home what someone with dyslexia might be seeing. So this is an example on screen that you might see. If you didn't have dyslexia, this is what you might read. It's going to show up behind us. But let's see what one dyslexic person might see instead of that. This is going to give you one example. I, I could be that person. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is I'm reading along, I'm reading along, and all of a sudden my eye um, uh, starts to lose focus. The words start to swim. So now I have to read the same thing over and over yeah. again. Yeah. And here's wow. another example I want people to look at. Because you, you mentioned things swirling, things are broken up. And again, it's different for everyone. I think we have one last example I want to show folks. World. You know what, a lot of kids describe it as the words are wiggling around the yes. page or they're jumping off the page. Right. And you, you said it, this is so common. And that's one of the reasons why any child that's maybe being diagnosed with ADHD or, or some sort of learning problem needs to have a visual mm -hmm. assessment to see if this is the case because it's a very different treatment. ADHD medications aren't going to help this. No. You know, one of the problems with dyslexia, we just, we really don't know why it happens. For some reason, somewhere between the eye and the visual and language centers in the brain, something isn't working right. right. And where the exact problem is, is difficult. And that's why there's so many different therapies that may or may not work for your right. child. You know, there's also some kind of cool gadgets that have been coming out. Uh, these colored gels that then you, you try to read through. You put the colored gel over what you're trying to read, and it, it basically changes the wavelength of the light that you're seeing. So it, we think, we don't know exactly why it works, but it just somehow slows down the, 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 the information process. coming into your brain, gives the, your brain just a little extra time to, uh, to work. Uh, they've also done the same technology in these, and they've put them in, in glasses. And these are actually very new. They've been using them in the UK for a few years, been very effective. There's not a lot of uh, uh, studies on them, but a lot of parents are swearing by these, and, uh, and I think it's a great idea. And I'm, I'm gonna call you Bono. Bono. Uh -huh. <laughs> but can I just say one other thing? No matter what you do, mm -hmm. the child is feeling bad. It is our job to make sure that their self-image is buoyed. You cannot say often enough, it's all right. You're OK. School is the law. When you're done with school, no one ever has mentioned to me geometry in my entire life <laughs> and my entire career. <laughs> In fact, you're so passionate about this. You've written children's yes. books yes. about a with fourth grader with dyslexia. Yes. And well, he's me. So you're really talking about your life as a fourth grader yes. in these books. And your latest my life, so, so my Hank life, Zipser is uh, yeah, Hank Zipser, the world's yeah. greatest underachiever. And Lynn Oliver and I have written uh, 17 novels of uh, Hank Zipser. They are funny first. They're not meant to, like, educate. They're funny. The kid happens to have a learning challenge. And you have another book out, I've Never Met an Idiot on the River. Yes. Well, that's because you've never met me on the river, apparently. So, <laughs> so is, this, is this a look at, at life through your eyes? It life? Looks, looks like here you're fumbling with the fish a well, little bit. Well, there you go. I fumble with life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I there I am. And so this is really your, your reflections. <laughs> Did that one get away? Did he that get away? One, that one got away. Well, yeah, I, he didn't get away because I had him in the boat. Okay. So we Just consider flubber. him caught. <laughs>